Hello everyone, before I start the video, I just want to let you guys know that I have a Patreon. You can look in the description of the video for a link to my Patreon. I also have it on my website, GhostSquad57.com, and I also have a link to the Patreon during my outro. Oh, yeah, I just want to give a shout out to Mark for supporting me this month on Patreon. That was really awesome of him to do that. Um, I haven't been able to make as much videos as I would like because lately I, I recently got a job and um, it's consuming a lot of my time. So I haven't really been able to make as much videos as I would like, um, but hopefully I can sort of get back into the rhythm of making videos and produce more content for you guys. Anyway, yeah, so at my Patreon, I just have a really basic uh, goals. I have a uh, $1 gives you access to my videos early. I usually put them on Patreon two to three days earlier than they would go up on YouTube. Um, my goals are $20 and $40 at the moment. $20 just because if I get $20 a month, I, I can actually put that money towards uh, games and do more videos on games because at that point, I'm actually getting a little bit of money and I can actually do something with that. Um, and at $40, I'll spend even more time um, doing videos. And at $40, I plan on bringing back the reviews, which I've kind of put off because they were very time-consuming and I just decided they weren't really worth the time to do it. Um, I would like to get back into doing them, but I think that I want to at least have more incentive to do those videos. Also at $40, I'll start to invest more of my income towards uh, better recording equipment, better audio equipment. Um, anyway, yeah, thank you guys for listening, and enjoy the rest of the video. Hello everyone, this is Keith here, and today I'm taking a look at Star Wars Rogue by Arkin Games. Now, Arkin, I should do a quick disclaimer. Arkin Games actually sent me a key for this game a review copy um, which I was really surprised in because it's not every day that I just get a developer send me a key without me having to ask um, so it's really cool of them to go out of their way for me um, but anyway yeah so this is the main menu of the game here we're just gonna you just select the profile area you can have up to six profiles uh, but yeah so for, the, for those of you who don't know what um, Star Wars Rogue is it's a very interesting game it's a top-down bullet hell roguelike game um, kinda think of like Smash TV but with the variables of a roguelike. Sounds interesting. I actually played this game on a live stream for uh, about 30 minutes or so, and I enjoyed my time playing it. It might have been more than that. It might have been like 48 minutes. I mean, anyway, so yeah, we're going to go ahead and main menu here. We don't really have much options. Uh, we just have some tutorials, which give you like basic game intro, uh, some statistics to show how well you do in certain areas, and how you, you know, just stuff like that. It's just statistics. And we have start new run and continue. Now I have continue because um, I actually quit when I was playing. Um, start new run is um, the actual game. Um, so yeah, the game, and then once you start a new game, you can select which hull you would like. Each of them have unique attributes as well as different starting weapons. I have to go with the white gloss, which is just very basic um, hull, nothing really special about it. You can also choose random. That's also another fun one. I think I'm actually going to start off with random just to make things a little bit more interesting. Then you get to select difficulty. I tend to pick hard, although normal is generally what I recommend. I also have things over here. Temp, dev mode, and play with everything unlocked. So we're just going to start the game. Vanilla here. There's also seems to be more ships there. If you click here, more ships down here. Hmm. And we're going to go ahead and start with a random ship. So once you get into the game, um, yeah, as you'll see, it's a top-down, uh, like I said, a top-down roguelike game. So on the left-hand side there, you have your display, your weapons, your secondary weapons, uh, and your missiles. So your missiles consume, uh, well, missiles, I mean, they take ammunition, so you can only use those, you have to use those sparingly. Um, and you can find ammunition from, sometimes enemies will drop them after you kill them, or you'll find them in certain items that you can destroy. Um, on top of that, there's also money or currency that you can pick up, which is credits in this game. And you can use those to purchase uh, things at shops. Um, one thing I like about this game is it does tell you, you see here, it actually tells me that there's a thing up there. And uh, if I hit escape, there's a major item storage, so I can actually go to it. And um, yeah, so let's go up here, so there's an item storage in here. That's really nice that the um, game actually sort of tells you where things are. See, so yeah, it is a roguelike in the sense that when you die, you loot, you have to start all over again. And also, the levels are procedurally generated. So each time you play, they're pretty unique. Um, and I can definitely attest to that because I've, so far, 
Um, like I said, I've been playing for about 30-40 minutes. I have yet to find a room or an enemy pattern, which is the same as last. And one thing I'm really impressed with this game is just how much enemies they cram into one level, um, each with their own uniqueness. Um, so it's not just not just that you're fighting a ridiculous wave of enemies, but also that you're fighting a wave of enemies with with very unique spray patterns and attributes, and each of them is really different from the uh, the last. It's a very interesting uh, game, and I've actually been having a lot of fun playing it. So yeah, space is how you deploy your uh, rocket. Right click for your energy shot. So of course consumes energy and you can pick up energy um, once again from certain enemies might drop it or you can get it from uh, destroying certain barrels and stuff like that or certain objects. Oh god. Yeah, see I'm just getting absolutely destroyed there. In the top left you have your health as well as experience. You can level up and um, assign abilities to your character to sort of you know, improve their attributes. Oh, and also get other special things. Yeah, I just died there so I'm going to have to restart. Start a new run. Hopefully that will give me. Uh, okay, yeah, it actually gave me a different robot this time. You also have keys here. Keys can be used to unlock. There are certain instances where you might find something that needs to be unlocked with a key, such as a door or certain crates, and you can spend keys to unlock those. But yeah, just one thing that's just so unique about this game is the um, enemies' designs and their functions. Like each enemy is just so like strange and different from the last. Um, so you really have to sort of pay attention to the enemy's patterns and, you know, learn how they, learn the best way to deal with them and how to avoid their projectiles. Because they're, when you get into a room with a bunch of enemies, it is just absolute chaos trying to avoid other bullets while simultaneously um, doing, dealing damage. So it is definitely a bullet hell in that sense. You know, you also have mini bosses spread throughout the floors. You have, you know, bosses as well as mini bosses. Um, Oh god, I just got completely destroyed. So yeah, this game is definitely challenging. If you're in for a challenging roguelike, then this is definitely the game to get. Hopefully, um, you have these teleporters here. Um, these ro these uh, warp you to the right going right, room going right on the mini map. So I don't really need to use that now. <coughs> and you do have certain levels with puzzles in them that allow you to... Uh, Oh, I just messed that one up actually. Can I redo it? Oh, nope. When you go in a room with uh, enemies, you have to clear up the enemies before you can progress or even go back. But yeah, I actually messed that puzzle up. I wasn't supposed to destroy all the bricks, just one of it. So there are certain like rooms which kind of have little puzzles that you can complete um, to unlock items. Usually they have like boxes with some pretty decent stuff in there that you can unlock. Oh god. I'm just going to sit here for a bit. Grab this. So yeah, just each room is very uh, unique. Yeah, and the, the soundtrack of this game is interesting. I think uh, fans of like electrical music will love this game soundtrack. I know at one point uh, it was very like heavy and kind of like a really heavy dubstep sound to it. Oh god, yeah, see there's just so many different types of enemy patterns that they throw at you. It can be very difficult to dodge them, especially when you just... Yeah, see, there's the web hitting. That's the dubstep uh, elements I was talking about. Oh god, whoa, little asteroids. Okay. See, so, yeah, just like I said, like, each time you go into a room, you're just like, what the heck now? And you're just, like, completely thrown off by the ways the enemies react and just the way their spray patterns are. It's just every enemy is very every uh, enemy is very unique in this game. I give this game a lot of credit for that um, because I do think it deserves it. Um, and the combat itself is is pretty fun. Hopefully, I can get a level up eventually. Now here's health, these little health items. Uh, hopefully, I can get a level up soon so that you guys can see how that works. You can also find attachments. Which can do varying things. Like I know some of them can, um, like improve your weapon and stuff like that. Um, I know that I think there's one attachment that can increase the range of my weapon, which that's the one I really like to get. Hopefully, I can clear all this out. Oh. Yeah, because the default weapon for this character has very short range. 
think there's an enemy in there and I need to get him. There we go. I think there's one left. I don't know what this is actually. Oh god, it's that thing. Okay, that's the thing. There we go. Yeah, see, I, this isn't the thing that I need a key card to open. Um, they actually have pretty good items in there, so sometimes it can be worth it. Yeah, I, I really like how when you clear a floor, it gives you, uh, it shows you where the floors lead. It's a really nice um, feature. See, so yeah, that way I know that's a boss, so I don't run in there without knowing and then get, you know, I have to fight a boss, get locked into a room with a boss in it. Looks like this room actually reset. I wonder if, oh no, it didn't. Okay, I thought it did, my bad. Oh, there's a door here as well. Oh, whoa. Oh yeah, this is a sacrificial shop where you can use health to purchase upgrades. Um, but I believe that this is permanent. Yeah, see that permanently decreased my life from eight to five there, so yeah. Um, it's a very big downgrade. But I think I'm gonna take it because this increases my critical hits so you know what we're gonna get it and see how we do against this boss yeah I really like the map system if you hit um, escape brings up a really nice map system I like this kind of has a very Metroid vibe to it to me just the way it looks so we're gonna destroy this okay so no fragments that time all right yeah the bosses are very difficult just because um, I don't know some of them seem to be more difficult to me than others um, Oh god, and this one is not one of the fun ones. Oh god, oh god. And yeah, and you can just see where the bullet hell elements come from. This game it is just nonsense. Um, I think people who are fans of shoot 'em ups will definitely love this game. And I would I would classify this game as a shoot 'em up. Um, if not primarily a shoot 'em up, at least having really heavy shoot 'em shoot 'em up elements. Um so anyway, yeah, that is Rogue let me go back to the main menu here. Anyway, yeah. So that is the game, uh, Starwood Rogue. It's a pretty fun game. I uh, It's pretty cheap in the store. I think it's about $4 right now um, at the time I made this video. Um, it's worth it, in my opinion. If you're a fan of top-down sh bullet hell games, you know, a la um, Smash TV or a game similar to that, um, and you like games with roguelike elements I think you'll definitely enjoy uh, this game I think it has a lot to offer and I'm interested to see where the game development goes because I know the developer did release an update for it and add some new content um, so I'm very interested to see the direction the game goes in and see what kind of type of content they add to the game and we'll see you guys this has been Keith here checking out Star Wars Rogue a interesting game by Arcane Games, and thank you for watching.